I know what a missionary is, but a missionary dog? I haven't heard of one. Have you? you came by. I have a story for you about a missionary dog. But you know what? There's a verse in James chapter 1 verse 17 and it says every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father. Isn't that beautiful? The Father of lights. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from God. Well, I want to tell you a story about the Larson family. They were missionaries in Peru, in South America. And Pastor Larson was a preacher. And his wife, Anna, was a nurse. And they had a little dog by the name of Sunka. I want to show you a picture of Sunka. Isn't that a cute picture? That's Sunka. Yes, the missionary dog. One day, Pastor Larson came home and told his wife, Well, guess what? We're going on a road trip. A road trip? Yes. He said, We have some business up there in the Andes Mountains, those tall, tall mountains in South America. And we're going to stop at villages and, and see if we can be real missionaries. She said, Well, that sounds exciting. I'll pack my suitcase. So she started packing, and in a couple days, they were ready to go. They hauled their suitcases to the car, and Anna said, I want to take Sunka. And the Pastor Larson said, okay. So Pastor Larson opened the door, the car door, and said, come Sunka. And Sunka ran and jumped in the car, and he closed the door. Sunka loved road trips. Sunka would sit in the back and look out the window and, and she would see sheep or llamas and she'd bark. Woof, woof, woof. And they drove and drove and drove a long ways. They got to this little town in the valley of the big Andes Mountains. So they got to this little town and they found a nice hotel. So they checked into the hotel and they got hauled in their suitcases and Pastor Larson said, I'm just going to go out walking around the plaza. So he we went walking around the plaza. After a little bit, he came back and he told Anna, his wife, he says, well, I just rented that hall. Look out the window. See that big building over there? There's a hall in there. I just rented it. She says, you just rented it? And he says, yeah, we're going to have some meetings tonight. We'll show them some films. And she said, really? She says, well, are you sure you rented it? Oh, yeah, I talked to the mayor. He's the boss of this town. And he said I could rent it. And she says, but how are we going to invite the people? We don't know one person in this town. He said, well, I've been thinking about that. I was wondering if maybe you and Sunka could invite the people. Us? I wonder how we would do that. Well, okay, I'll try. And she said, come on, Sunka. And she got Sunka's ball. Oh, Sunka loved to play ball. And he said, come on, Sunka took the ball and said, let's go. And they walked down to the plaza. And people started looking. Oh, look at that cute little dog. Look. And so she says, yes, my dog, this dog's name is Sunka. And she can do tricks. Do you want to see? Sunka, roll over. So Sunka, lie down, roll over. Ah, <gasps> this dog can do tricks. They said, this dog can do tricks. They started telling everyone. Oh, that's not all. Sunka, sit up. And Sunka sat up with her little paws like this, waving her little paws. And people said, look at that. That dog can do tricks. And she said, that's not all. And you know what else he, uh, Sunka could do? Look. And she made a big hoop like this. Okay, uh, Sunka, jump. Sunka jumped right through the hoop. Yes, they said, oh. And Anna said, that's not all. Sunka can play ball. And she says, come, let's, and there are a bunch of people around there. Let's form a circle. Here, you back up, and we'll put Sunka in the middle, and watch. And she threw the ball to Sunka, and Sunka took the ball and uh, batted the ball back with her nose. 
And Anna caught the ball and she threw it to Sanka and Sanka threw it back. And then Sanka threw it to a little girl and the little girl caught the ball. She said, now throw the ball back to Sanka. So she took the ball and she threw it to Sanka and Sanka hit the ball with her nose and threw it back to the girl. And then they th started playing ball with Sanka all around the circle. Everyone was catching the ball and throwing to Sanka and Sanka was throwing it back. All those kids were having so much fun. And other mommies and daddies are stopping to look what is going on. This was a big attraction. Sanka was a big attraction. And so they were playing ball and when everyone was having lots and lots of fun, Anna went over and stood up on a park bench. She said, excuse me everybody, excuse me, I have an announcement. And everyone stopped and got quiet. She says, tonight at eight o'clock at the hall, at the big hall, we're gonna show some movies and Sanka is going to be there. We want all of you to come to the movies. And they, oh, 8 o'clock tonight. Oh, okay, okay. And they kept playing with Sanka. And finally, uh, Anna said, well, we need to go, Sanka. And she, she took her back to the hotel. That night, at 8 o'clock, there was not one empty seat. All the seats were full. Everyone was there. They came to see Sanka, and they say, came to see movies. Now, this story happened a long time ago, and movies were a big deal. Now movies are not a big deal, but they showed nature pictures about animals, different movies, and then health movies, movies about health, how to live healthfully, and then they showed a voice of prophecy movie, a, a Bible movie, and afterwards they gave out voice of prophecy cards, and people signed up to study the Bible. A lot of people signed up. They had a wonderful night, all because Sanka drew them to them. So you know what? Sanka was a missionary dog, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Well, you know what? Sanka had puppies once. Yes, she had four cute little puppies. And everyone was so excited to see the puppies. One day, Sanka and Anna went to town. And Anna got out of the car and said, Sanka, you have to stay in the car. I just have to go to a couple stores right here and I'll be right back. So she locked the car so that no one could steal Sanka. And so Anna went walking down the street and she was looking at stores, looking here and looking there. All of a sudden, there was Sanka. And she said, Sanka, how did you get out? And she said, come on, Sanka, you have to go back. And so they walked back to the car. And there was a policeman standing there. He says, ma'am, he says, that is a very smart dog. And she says, yes, I know, but what do you mean? He said, well, I was watching Sanka. She was watching you go, and she was very upset that you had left her. And then she went and she honked the horn. She stepped on the horn. And then she went back and looked out the window. Then she went back and honked the horn again and came back and looked. And then uh, in old cars, they had a little tri triangular uh, window. And she worked and worked and worked at that to undo it. And then she squeezed through and jumped out and ran to Mrs. Larson. Yes, she did. She says, yes, I know. Well, her husband was way down the street. And he saw Anna talking to a policeman. He thought, oh. My wife got a ticket. And when he came back, he says, did that policeman give you a ticket? She says, no, I gave him a ticket. What? I signed him up for a voice of prophecy lesson. Yes, I did. I signed him up for a voice of prophecy lesson. And she said, he said, well, good for you. Another time when Mrs. Larson was in town, she was just sitting, um, uh, in her, by her car, waiting for her husband to come back. He had some business to do at the post office. And a young girl came by and said, oh, that's a cute little dog. And she said, oh, yes, and, and Sanka can do tricks. This is Sanka. What kind of tricks? Sanka, roll over. So Sanka would roll over. 
and the nice girl said, oh, that's so cute. And he, she said, Sanka, sit up. So Sanka sat up. Oh, that's so cute. And then, okay, Sanka, jump. And Sanka jumped through Mrs. Larson's arms. And the girls said, oh, that is so cute. And they got to talking and talking. And she said, well, uh, my husband runs a Voice of Prophecy school here in Peru. And would you like to sign up for a lesson and study? She said, oh, yes, I would. And so Mrs. Larson signed her up so she could learn about the Bible. And she gave her the card. And she says, I'll give you the first lesson. And she says, and then send it in. Here's an envelope, and they'll correct it and send it back to you. And you know what? That young girl found Jesus because of Sunka. Yes. And so God used Sunka in a real big way. Well, at the end of their term of service there, it was time for them to go back to America. And they were able to take Sunka back to America with them because they were getting older and they needed to retire. And they took Sunka with them to Florida. And so a little South American dog came to America. Isn't that a sweet story? God is good. I want to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for Sanka. Thank you for giving us our pets. We love you with all of our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen. Thank you so much for coming by. Remember, I put a new story up every Friday. Okay? Bye!